Guys, I've got a three-way tire test for you, and we're going to do this in the rocks and the dirt. So this is going to be awesome. I've got the stock boggers off the Rift, stock foams. They are on beadlock wheels. I've got the Ot6 USDs right here with the DuPont foams, all Ot6 right here. And here, we've got the Proline Trenchers on Vitavon wheels with the kind of two-stage foam that I built using an Ot6 Halo Inner with the Proline Outer Foam. So I'm gonna get these things on the Rift and go see what these tires have got. Guys, let's get to the table, get a closer look, and outside we go. All these tires are used and abused. This right here, you know, stock foams. Got an Amazon beadlock right here, so that should fit these really good. And right here, we have the USDs by Ot6. Obviously used, I've jumped the heck out of these. They absorb things really well. Got the Vitavon beadlock wheel and all that. And right here we have the trenchers. These have those dual stage foams that I told you guys about. Beadlock wheel by Vitavon. So everything is set up. They are all vented. So air pressure will not be a factor. So now the rift is 10 and a half pounds. So yeah, we're gonna test these out. Try to get some dirt running, rock crawling, and just see what these things have got. We're gonna start with the dirt launch. Full throttle, let's go. That's what we've got with the stock tires. Here are the trenchers. So far, stock tires have a better contact patch with the ground. Time for the USDs. Here we go with the USDs. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm, got to give this one to the USDs. Um, second would be the uh, stock tires and third will be the trenchers. The USDs on the concrete ramp. Yeah, we've got some Castle Wine, some gear train noise. Looks like about 53 was it. Stock tires, let's see what they got. I gotta give that 55. Very nice. Well, let's see what the trenches have got. All the way to the top. We're gonna try some dirt. I tried to manicure this as best I can by rolling it with that. Um, the reason I don't do dirt a whole lot in tire tests is because it always changes so much between one vehicle to the next. But I'm going to try to go nice and slow and just see how far the trenchers get. There we are. And let's look at this. Clogged up and all that. Now we're going to go ahead and change tires. Well, let's see what the USDs have got. Wow. Not very good. See, they're clogged up a little bit. Not too bad. Now we have the stock tires. The furthest ones are the trenchers, uh, just like in the video with Thor. And those right there, the ones down, are the USDs. Let's see what the stock tires can do. Oh, 
Looks like the stock tires are going up a pretty good bit. Let's try a different line to verify that real quick. Yeah. Now they are clogging up as well because the dirt is kind of sticky, but right now, got to give the win to the stock tires on this one. Now, general bashing around and busting up hills and stuff, I doubt we're going to see any difference. I don't really have large, rocky, dirty hills like what the guys generally run, but I have these. So I've got what I got here. And this loose dirt, I can't see there being a difference on any of these. I mean, all the tires are going to handle well. I do have the rear steer turned off, by the way. Um, I just, I doubt there's going to be any noticeable difference. However, let's go ahead and uh, put the uh, put the uh, USDs on for this next run. And let's see what we got with the USDs. <laughs> That'll be a restart. And let's try that again. <laughs> okay. It could very well be pulling harder on that. I mean, we saw that in the launch test, so we might be seeing that right here. Oh, that was my driving there. This is all my driving mess up right here. All right, so maybe we saw some of that hookup right there, right? Nice, nice dig right there. All right, now it's time for the uh, trenchers, I guess, right? Yeah, that's what's left. And here we go with the trenchers. All right. I'm pretty sure under heavy throttle, those USDs definitely had more hook than any of these did. But in the crawl in the dirt, the trenchers just seem to really do better. Twice, two different vehicles and everything. Nice jump right there, by the way. <laughs> Good run. As far as the rocks go, I don't think there's going to be any noticeable difference between them. Granted, the front open dip always kind of hurts us on the rocks. But this is going to take it across. Like I'm coming down a little bit there, huh? Yeah, I can't tell a difference on this. At least I don't think I will, right? See what the USDs have got. Try to follow the same line, but that's gonna be a little difficult to do here. I'm going to try to go ahead and take it on purpose down here, except I try to follow the line like I need to a little better. Yeah. And let's give the trenches a shot. Now, these were foams specifically for the rocks so maybe they might be at an advantage here now one thing about these tires are not the largest oh so the same issue there but that was that 
Here we're gonna do a tire expansion test because, well, why not? think about that now we hit six different things now on the dirt launch that was a pretty easy one the USDs had the wider patch boom nice launch there followed by the boggers and then the trenchers now as far as the ramp goes that was an easy win for the trenchers right there they're the only ones that made it up and then the boggers were just made me an inch above the USDs now granted these are on the greens but these are also the G8s these are factory, whatever they are. So I'm sure the reds would have went up higher, but then again, I'm sure the predator trenchers would have went faster as well. Now, as far as the dirt crawl goes, that was interesting. The boggers actually went up further than both of them, followed by the trenchers and then the USDs. Where all of this got interesting was when you started putting the power down. When I first launched with the USDs, uh, I thought maybe it was a, a mess up on my part, you know? Okay, bring it back. But no, when you put the power down, the USDs really shine above the other two. I mean, really shine above the other two. Um, so USDs got that one. Now the trenchers picked up a second, followed by the boggers. To me, it was kind of close on those two, but you know, I just kind of feel the trenchers got a little bit of an edge on the boggers on that. So, but right now the USDs have got two wins. Trenchers won and the boggers won. Now, we get into the boring stuff. We've got the rocks. I didn't really see a difference between any of them, in all honesty. Um, I mean, they all done fine on there. And then as far as the expansion goes, they all look pretty good there too. So, um, in my opinion, the USDs got the win with a two over a one for the stock boggers and a one for the trenchers. So comment down below how you think about this. Uh, for me, when, when you put the power down, the USDs really come alive. At least that's what I saw. And they're uncut. So, you know, it could get better, right? Anyway, guys, check that description. Uh, they are affiliate links. A main, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Uh, they do help out the channel when you guys use them. So, guys, check that description. Use those links. Give it a big thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for watching.